Hey everyone, some of you saw some pretty cool photos of me recently. I know, I can be cool on rare occasion, mostly when I'm surrounded by cool friends. Uh, I was at an event in New York, we were dressed up all fancy-like, and some people were having, as you can see, more fun than others with their outfits. But I did have a little bit of fun with my outfit. The idea, and there'll be many more details about this coming out in a series of videos that I'm going to do, the idea I wanted was, how can I kind of look evening proper in, you know, a suit and all that, not carrying a bunch of bulky bags or other accessories, but have all the entry gear imaginable secreted about my person. This was my goal, and I think I achieved it in a lot of ways. Again, look for other videos coming out later where I talk about mechanical stuff. The real fun for me was something I've been meaning to do forever. And many thanks to people in various discords, uh, Iceman's discords, other RFID hacking discords, where I asked a few questions to untangle something that I have talked about and haven't actually accomplished. If you want a pocket-sized RFID attack tool, most people nowadays are going to think, oh, well, that's the Flipper Zero, right? Like, it's, it's small. You can, if you have some RFID cards, low frequency, high frequency, you can boop those. You can, you can copy them, no problem, onto a blank, etc. But the Flipper is not what we usually use in class, right? If you're in a Red Team Alliance class, an RFID, PAX, or Access Control class, you'll see something like a Proxmark. More advanced tool, uh, a lot more capability and functionality. However, you typically would see this attached to a laptop. What if you could have a Proxmark just in your pocket like you can a flipper? And I'm, I'm not talking about single button standalone mode. No, as you can see, this Proxmark is equipped with a little extra backpack on here, a battery and Bluetooth module. This is called the Blue Shark. Uh, we sell it on the website I don't mention. And a lot of students get them either there or through you know Red Team Alliance in class. But when people say, oh, that, blo that blue shark, that's really cool, man. You can do Bluetooth things. And then they never really do anything with it. I never really did anything with it because it's a little hard to set up. Let's take a look at what I was doing that evening with this just sitting in my pocket. Here I have my Proxmark with the blue shark. Yes, mine has been modified a little bit for low visibility. I didn't want glowing LEDs to be shining very hard through my white shirt linen pocket here. But I also, in my other pocket, had a phone, obviously. Everyone's got a phone, nothing suspicious about that. My little Bluetooth backpack right now is trying to pull and look and beacon and saying, hey, can anyone connect to me? Can I, can I do some Bluetooth things? Again, this is a little more involved than many people are able to do. It's why I want to help you do it. We want to help you do it. If you're coming to Layer 1, coming up in just a couple weeks, down in Pasadena, California, get yourselves out there. We have our whole RFID class. It's a two-day class. It's running just before the conference. Link down below, all about Red Team Alliance, et cetera, et cetera. You should absolutely attend. If you're in that class, though, I'm going to be there talking about something a little bit different during the after hours and the breaks, and that is the Blue Shark situation here. With a tool that can bridge a connection, your actual Bluetooth connection is not what you might think it is. It's a little, little finicky, a little bit hard, but once you get it set up, I even have an auto script just to go ahead and connect, make a TCP bridge, okay, connection, boom, started. This light is solid. My phone is now connected via Bluetooth over a TCP bridge such that under my little Blue Shark tools here. Now that my bridging tools are connected, I can fire up my terminal emulator and connect to my Proxmark right here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And there you go. So what I was doing, I was demonstrating to people that if I had this in my breast pocket, imagine, you know, you come across, oh, there's like a badge here, and you, you pick it up and say, well, I should, I should turn this into security. You just place that in your breast pocket, and as you're just a guy, I'm just looking for the security desk. I gotta hand this into someone, LF. Let's do a little LF search. Just like you would from your laptop, you can do everything the Proxmark can do from your phone. Far more than you can get out of just a flipper zero. Yes, a flipper can clone Prox. Yes, a flipper can kind of do some cracking against some hotel room keys. Not nearly as efficiently and not nearly as powerfully as the Proxmark can. Let's actually just go ahead and do HF, MF, Autopone. Let's see how we can handle this room key.
all the keys cracked, card contents being dumped, just like that there you are. What if I want to clone that room key to my blank card here? Well, I have the Chinese backdoor commands obviously. Let's go ahead and load that data dump. Now, I sped that up a little bit, as you could see in the timer, but is this as fast as operating your Proxmark directly tethered to a laptop? No, you're going over a little Bluetooth bridge. However, not having to carry your laptop, that is pretty freaking dope. So yes, if you want to learn about this, about RFID, about credential cracking, about key cracking, about Proxmark's flippers, you name it, layer one down in California, if you're not already coming, what the hell? Were you some kind of chump? Are you some kind of loser? Get yourself to layer one. It's an amazing conference. But more than that, get yourself to the Red Team Alliance training that we're running prior to layer one. It's only two days. It's California. It's a beautiful time of year. You can finally do something that you've been meaning to do for a while. In fact, if you don't have a little blue shark on your Proxmark, tell you what, the next few people that sign up for our RTA training and California, Bobak doesn't know I'm making this offer, but I think I'm gonna, he'll be cool with it. I'm gonna find a way to get you a blue shark for your Proxmark. You get a Proxmark in class. If you haven't signed up yet, let me check our inventory. I wanna do this for you. I'll comment below if Bobak uh, yells at me and says, dude, what do you think? We can't do that. We don't have enough of those. We gotta call Garrett. Garrett's in Southern California. Hell, he'll get us more blue sharks. But one way or the other, I want to have this as a module in class. I want to see you in class. I want to see you at layer one. I want to see you all learning what you can do with RFID credentials, whether they're in a card, whether they're chips in your hands. Either way, come to LA, come see us there. Have a good time. Stay safe out there.